Good morning, Big Picture Elementary. It's Mrs. Tovar here, and I am bringing you your announcements for the week of March 8th, 2022. So we're going to start with our flag salute. So if you are not already standing, please stand. Right hand over your heart. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, we've got a, a birthday to this week on the 15th or at the beginning of next week. Um, we have uh, Mr. Jet in first grade. So happy birthday, Jet. And then we've got a bunch of staff birthdays. Um, today, Tuesday, March 8th is Ryder's birthday in the cafeteria. So if you see Mr. Ryder, make sure you tell him happy birthday. And then we have two birthdays tomorrow, Miss Livingstone and Miss Jen. Uh, and on the 13th, we have Miss Sanchez's birthday. So make sure you wish all of them a very happy birthday this week. And then you'll see we still have quite a bit more coming up. All right, a couple reminders with dress code. Um, you need to have your shoes with a closed toe strap behind. If you're going to be wearing any uh, shirts, they can't show your stomach. Make sure they're long enough. Um, if you're going to wear a shorter shirt, like a crop top, it's got to have like a tank top underneath that goes longer to cover or and, and also keep your pants, you know, up at the waist. Um, no solid colors, no solid top or bottom being the same color, red or blue torn jeans or um, anything has to have leggings or tights underneath so that we're not seeing big um, open gashes like that. And if you're wearing shorts, they cannot be shorter than like where your palms would fall to your sides. Um, and then safety measures, making sure that we are walking on the sidewalks and on the ramps. We have had accidents before where people are running and a door opens or if someone slips or hits the rail and it's not good. So make sure on the ramps and the sidewalks you are walking, you can run on the grass all you want. Um, cell phones and headphones or even your earbuds, they should not be out at school at all unless you've had permission from a teacher already for that one time. Um, but other than that, they should be in your backpack and not in use. Um, this week, we are still wearing our masks over our nose and our mouth. Make sure that you are wearing them anytime you are inside. And then when you go outside, you can take it off, have a break. And also foods that we want to make sure that we are not bringing to school. We cannot have hot chips, any type of food made from tree nuts we can't have. And candy, sodas, energy drinks, those sort of things are not allowed on campus. And a lot of that is due to allergies and things like that. All right. We had one, 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 one cafeteria challenge winner. The golden spoon goes to sixth grade. They made it all the way across. So sixth grade, I will come by and let you choose the card that you want to put in your window. You have a, um, a couple of choices now, so you can choose. And I put your name on the wall by the golden spoon. And um, everybody's starting again right here at the checkpoint um, one, not at the starting line because we only have four days this week. So you get four chances to scoot forward to make it to the finish line in the cafeteria this week. All right. And um, a couple things uh, before I go over the winners of the Spirit War. We still have exhibitions this week. So some people got started and then we're going to finish our exhibitions this week. And... Well, there is a couple fun things coming up. Instead of doing announcements on the video like this, we're going to be able to start having morning opening. So starting next week, you can get your breakfast, you eat, and you come out to morning opening, and you head straight to class. So we're going to be starting that. Your teachers might start to talk to you about that this week. And you get to eat breakfast in the cafeteria pretty soon. So all of those things are coming up. It's going to be talked to you um, about how it's going to work and where you're going to check in and how the mornings are going to go. But we're, we're starting to get back to morning openings. So at morning openings, 
we would reveal our, our uh, cafeteria challenge winners like I'm doing now. We would reveal um, the spirit wear challenge winners and I'd bring the cubs out and I'd hand them to you. So all the things I've been doing on the video, we're gonna be able to do in person again. And also pulling purple tickets would be in morning opening. So this week's winners for the K through two pod are kindergarten, Miss Colin Serrato's class. So you guys get to keep the Panther. And then we have in uh, the third through fifth grade pod, the fourth grade class one. So Miss Duke's class, you guys get to keep the Panther. And Miss Magdaleno's class, the eighth graders one for the, the sixth through eighth grade pod. So if you don't already have the Panthers, I will try to make sure that you guys get them. And I'm gonna read our purple tickets that I drew this week. The first one goes to Sir Kyle B in kindergarten from Mrs. Petit. And she said he was a great helper during EOP. The second one is Jalissa W in third grade and she helped pick up trash. So she got a purple ticket. Thank you, Jalissa. Third one is from um, poor Miss Jaslyn in fifth grade. Uh, Miss Risa said that she completed all her work and she worked well with others and participated. So great job. And then we have Andrew M in, in second grade from Miss Lopez. And she said he was sweeping up the walkway. So great job, you guys. Um, Elliot S in fifth grade from Miss Geisler. She said he was completing his work quietly. So he got his purple ticket. Great job. And Grayson P in kindergarten from Miss uh, from Miss Cole. She said he was doing a great job doing expectation number one, which is listening to learn in his class. Okay, Joshua U in third grade from Mrs. Healy. She said Joshua tried his best during testing. And that is fantastic. That's what we want everybody to do. Try your best. Elliot, you got another one from Mr. Torres. And he said that you have integrity. So that is a wonderful reason to get a purple ticket. Um, and then Emmanuel in eighth grade from me. I pulled a ticket that I made. Yay, finally. Um, and that's uh, for sweeping up in the cafeteria. So thank you, Emmanuel. And then uh, Grace in third grade from Miss Lopez. She got a purple ticket for picking up trash. So that is a lot of wonderful names. If I called your name and read your um, purple ticket, please, you can come to the window and pick up a little treasure from Miss Lopez or whoever's at the window. All right, and then we still have our safety guidelines. If you're not feeling well, please don't come to campus. You can just call the school and let them know. Still be wiping down your desks and everything. We are taking the fogger and fogging the railings and the doorknobs, but you can do your part by cleaning up inside and cleaning up your workspace with the wipes from the wipe tower. And it's still a good idea to keep your distance from other students, especially if you're outside without your mask on. And then while we are indoors, we are still um, supposed to be wearing our masks and make sure that it is covering your nose and your mouth. And for any other information, you would find that on our Parent Square app or Facebook, um, any of those. And so let us end with our five expectations. So if you can say it with me, ready? Expectation number one is listen. Expectation number two, keep your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. Expectation number three is to use kind words. Expectation number four is to stay on task. And expectation number five is to always do your best. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week, Panthers, and I will see you all soon.